Now, your Channel 3 Max Advantage forecast. And again, we had temperatures over the freezing mark today, but at least it stayed dry. A lot of clouds around, though, and that's nothing new. We did see a couple of breaks in the cloud cover, but they didn't last long. We open up the shot and see what's coming at us. We do have this little clipper system up to our north and to the west, and that's coming in our direction. Not going to get here until the day tomorrow. We'll get a little bit of weather action out of that, but not expecting a lot. A few snow showers, maybe a couple of raindrops in there. But after that, we're actually looking at some sunshine finally returning as we get into the weekend. Here are our current temperatures. We're mainly in the low to mid 30s out there, just about everywhere. So we're a little bit warmer today than we have been the last couple of days. Here in Burlington, we're at 35 right now. And the winds are out of the south at six miles per hour. It makes it feel more like 30. That's not too big a deal. And the pressure at 30.01 inches, it is on the way down. Here's what we're expecting as we go through the rest of the evening into the overnight. We're still looking at the old familiar cloud cover that's gonna hold throughout the night. Now tomorrow a little different. We'll see the clouds, but something falling out of those clouds in the form of a few snow showers. They're going to be kind of on and off, scattered about as we go through the day tomorrow. Maybe a few raindrops mixed in there as well. In fact, it could be a little bit of freezing drizzle, especially early on, and especially in some of the higher elevations. So we're going to continue to see some on and off snow showers through tomorrow night and into the first part of Friday. Here we are around the time of sunrise time on Friday when the groundhog looks to see if he can find his shadow. Doesn't look like he's going to, and that means we could see an early spring if we believe in all that. And the rest of the day on Friday, still looking cloudy with a couple of flurries. And then we're going to get into the sunshine as we get into the weekend. How much snow are you expecting? Well, over the two days, not much. A dusting to maybe an inch here in the valleys and one to three inches in the higher elevations with the higher amounts in the higher mountain peaks. Temperature-wise, again, we're still not going to see much of a change in the temperatures as we go through the next 24 hours or so. They come down just a little bit overnight. We start out tomorrow morning in the upper 20s and low 30s. And then tomorrow, a lot like today, we're going to top out in the low to mid 30s for most of us, a couple of upper 30s out there. But we are going to start cooling down once we head into the weekend. We get the sunshine back, but yeah, those temperatures come down, but not drastically. We're looking at uh, temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s for highs and then overnight lows in the teens. But I think that's a good trade off to get a little bit of sunshine going around here. You might actually have to find your sunglasses and, uh, you know, maybe exercise your squinting muscles a little bit. <laughs>